welcome back in our channel today we will have application for separable first order differential equation uh, again we will use uh, Newton's second law of motion uh, last time we solved uh, this application as a linear differential equation today uh, we will solve this application as separable uh, first order differential equation uh, Newton's second law of motion summation of F equal MA the forces affecting the body equal the mass of the body times the acceleration here is our body 5 kilograms weight this is our down our positive direction and this is the air resistance because it is going up so uh, it equal minus k v squared its direction is up against the the body and here is our differential equation mg minus kv square equal m db by dt here is this is a uh, this is the ground acceleration 9.8 so 5 times 9 9.8 gives us uh, 49 minus kv square equal 5 db by dt we divide over for 49 minus kv square and multiply by dt we got this equation it is separable differential equation how to solve this equation we use the partial fraction decomposition technique integration technique so here we factor this value and we put a plus p over 7 plus root square of k we multiply this equation by these two parentheses so we got 5 equal a we got this equation now what value of v that make this parenthesis is zero so v should be equal to minus seven of root square of k so this plus b and then so five equals seven because this one will go to zero and we here seven minus root square k and v we put minus seven over root square of k we will get this five equal 14 b uh, b equal five over 14 the same way with with a Here 5 equal 7 plus 7 over, I mean the value of, of V here that make this 0 as plus 7 over 7 over root square of K. So the K cancel with the K and 7 minus 7 will be 0 again we will get uh, a 5 over 14 same way now we plug a and b in, in this equation so we got this 5 over 14 plus 5 all this equation we take 5 over 14 over uh, 
root square of k out and integrate both sides of equation, we got this. 2 integrate this we need to multiply by root square minus k this is why we took the minus out because this is the derivative of this the same way here we multiply by root square of k this is positive of course over k integration of dt we got this this is lin minus because because of this is the minus minus lin seven minus root square k v uh, plus equal t plus c one c one is constant of integration. And we got this. 5 over 14 plus t equal t plus c1. Then we raise this equation, both sides of the equation, to the base e. Okay, so we will see this e to the ln equal e. Uh, 14 root square k over 5t plus c and again from the from the uh, if you remember e equal e is a e is b so here what we will do the same So it will be times e this one. Of course, this will be uh, so seven plus this is b equal c, where c equal plus because here e is constant, fourteen constant, five is constant root square of k is constant c1 is constant so all the, all this term is constant equal c instead of c1 we call it c and we got this now we need to find c so we go back to our initial condition, which says at t equals zero, v equals zero. So if we plug t here zero, all this e to the power zero will be one. And here v zero, v zero. So we will have seven over seven. We will have 7 over 7 equal c e to the power 0 equal c. So c equal 1. Now we multiply this equation by 7 minus root square kv. We got this 7 plus root square k v equals 7 so just uh, some algebraic uh, operation and rearranging the equation we got v equals 7 over root square of k and this parenthesis. If you remember from the hyperbolic functions that e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 
2x plus 1 equal tanj, tanj x. So here our x, here the, the, this uh, 14 over 5 equal 2x. So half of it will be 7 if you multiply it. So we multiply it or we divide it by 2 because this is 2x. We will need 1x. So here is 2x. So this value equal 2x. So x equal 7 over 5. Uh, sorry, here. 7 over 5 root square k t. So here is our final formula for velocity at any time t. 7 over root square k tanj Seven over five root square k. The velocity at any time t uh, between the point where we release the body uh, until the ground. Thank you for watching my video and see you in the next video. The next video we will talk about the third type, homogeneous uh, first order differential equation. Until that time, have a good day and see you then.